Hi, I'm Hannah from Hannah Larkin Photography and I'm joined today by Catherine from uh, Gift Test. Hi Catherine. Hello. Um, so I'm really excited to hear about all things stationery from you. Um, I wonder, can you just start by telling me a little bit about Gift Test? Okay, no worries. Um, yeah, I create a wedding and event stationery. So everything from safer dates to RFPs, a little the day things as well. So orders of service, menus seating plans and things like that. Um, we offer a bespoke service and we have a lot of range items, so it's all completely personalizable for your day. Great. So you've already mentioned a few of the different items that you produce, but when couples are starting to think about their wedding stationery, what are the kind of different things that they might consider? Oh. Yeah, that's very personal to your ceremony and the timings like your engagement and things like that. So mm -hmm. say you've, you're having a very long engagement, but you've got your venue sorted well in advance or you're going abroad for your wedding, then save the dates might be something you'll want to do. But if you've got a mm -hmm. shorter engagement, then it, you can just go straight to invitations just so you're not sending people loads of stuff that you don't really need to. Um, a lot of couples include info cards with their invitations, so um, mm -hmm. hotel information, taxis, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then of course, RSVPs, um, not necessarily needed these days if you want to just have people reply by text, but yeah. sometimes if you want to ask about um, song choices, anything like that that you want to include on your RSVP, okay. that's a nice, nice place to put it. So, but in terms of, um, wedding stationery that's kind of the main four bits um but then on the day there's so many possibilities um we have standard range items that we do which is um orders of service and um, table numbers place cards and seating plans but within that you can then change up anything so you can include a menu that matches everything else okay. or uh, special words quiz sheets things like that um, we do have a range of free downloadable quiz sheets on our website that you can that matches some of our range items, so okay. you can tie it in there. But oh, um, cool. yeah, signs for things, flip flop signs. I've been doing a couple of those, sweet tarts, things like that. So it's really um, having a good think about what you're having at your ceremony and what you want to communicate to your guests. Because yeah. things like whenever I go to a wedding, I always take my place card because yes. it's always <laughs> my place nice. Um, so that's. Stuff that your guests can take away as well that's really personalized to your ceremony okay. yeah, loads of loads, of, loads of different options and so if oh. you're sort of trying to plan um you know quite a bespoke wedding something that really sort of lets your personality shine through a bit how can you how can you do that right from a save the date if you're starting at that point or your invitation yeah, we offer a bespoke service and we have range items. Um, so with our range items, we can change. We do a free color scheme change. So okay. if you've got a theme color, a strong theme color you're carrying through to all your decorations, your bridesmaids, dresses, your flowers, then we can put that in straight from the beginning. And that's completely personalizable. So if there is something you really like, um, but it's just not quite right, then we can tweak. Um, alternatively, we do offer a bespoke service. So if you've got something in mind that's completely different, um, say, I know people have venue maps, illustrations, things like that. Um, any strong themes, like, for example, if you're having a Christmas wedding, then you can do a bespoke mm -hmm. Christmas thing. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's really um, talking to your stationer about your ideas and how best to portray that. But yeah, you can absolutely start that straight away just to really cement your theme and tie everything together really nicely yeah great and so if you're going for a more bespoke option how much time does that take when would you need to try and start getting that done to get your invitations out in time i mean the sooner the better um for if you're starting with save the dates um then all you need really is your venue booked and then you can yeah. start straight away with your stationery um for bespoke, I tend to say our standard orders take two to four weeks. That's okay. like being generous just for safety with that. But with bespoke, it's um, I try and do that again, same time scale, two to four weeks. So tend to say four to eight, six to eight weeks, the whole turnaround mm -hmm. for getting your bespoke things out there. So 
we can do rush orders but the sooner the better and then you're not getting stressed out about it and you, you get to take the time to really get it perfect for you yeah okay and um i know that we're both big book lovers just my nice bookcase behind me here and i know that you're a real fan <laughs> how how might you incorporate something like a love of books into your into your wedding station that's really nice. I'm a big fan of romance books. So all of our ranges are named after either romance authors or okay. we have our Jane Austen set, which we have a set for each heroine. So wow. uh, that, that I designed for what I thought they would like based on their character in the book. So it's something you can really tie in. Like if there's a book with strong themes, um, like something say nautical, then that's something you can really pull in. Mm -hmm. Quotes in your stationery, that's something I really yeah. like. Anything yeah, like that, um, or like the style. Um, one thing that's always stuck with me, like um, Jane Austen's Emma, the first version I ever read of that was in this beautiful pink slipcase. It was like a pink candy stripe. And now for okay. me, that really strongly represents that book. So mm. my Emma range is pink and white. So if you have a very strong attachment to a cover or something like that, then we can pick themes and colours out of that that will then be brought to your stationery. So it's, it's whatever time frame for you with the book. So that's, that's a really nice idea. That's something I'd love yeah. to Yeah. So a bride could not only have a sort of specific book in mind, they might have a specific edition that they like and they could send you pictures and between you can then create something that reflects that. Absolutely. I think that's yeah. the thing about books, isn't it? They have such a strong connection with you and, and with the covers and things like that and the edition that you first discovered it on. It yeah. really does chime with you and what you associate with the book. Yeah. Okay, great. I know another thing that we um, we have in common is our love for seeing pets at weddings. <laughs> and um, as much as I'm keen for pets to actually be there at weddings, for me to photograph, if that's not possible, is that something that you could try and incorporate them in your day through your stationery and through the designs you choose? Absolutely. We do do pet portraits separately, but that's certainly okay. something that would be really nice to incorporate, particularly if you have multiple pets, because pets are part of your family. You want them involved. And um, I have cats and they can't be there at a wedding necessarily. That's quite mm. <laughs> probably one of the more difficult animals to take to your wedding. So, yeah, having that in your stationery is definitely something to be done. And, and I love pet portraits. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's that's a wonderful thing to try and bring in. Um, do you have a lot of experience of shooting with animals then for, uh, for weddings and things like that? So I've photographed horses with brides, which has been which has been great, and also um, some very cute dogs with little kind of bow tie collars um, at <laughs> weddings. But I'm I'm desperate for more for more pets at weddings. So yeah, I'm looking for brides who want you know to carry kittens down the aisle or have uh, have guinea pigs there. I think. <laughs> Pets of family, they should be included. So hopefully Absolutely. we'll see some more. <laughs> um, and I know also more and more brides these days are thinking about um, making sure their wedding is kind of eco-friendly or wanting to kind of consider that when they're making their plans. What would be your recommendations for that for, when you're thinking about your stationery? There's a couple of different things you can do for that. Um, we do have we outsource all our printing to a printer which has a really strong recycling policy um, and only uses vegetable inks so that's a lot more environmentally okay. friendly and um, we also recycle all paper in house so um, as you see there's a lot behind me but when that goes that will go into the recycling um, we tend to not we don't carry foil samples because that's quite difficult to recycle and so it's a bit more environmentally friendly although foil is something we can do um, mm -hmm. and also we can offer recycled papers um, as well, if you are looking for a more eco wedding, then probably doing ERSVPs, um, yeah. having a reply to your email or mobile is going to save you a lot of paper, as well as, I guess, air miles for posting them out as well. <laughs> so yeah. Little, little yeah. things like that, you can just kind of scale it back to make it a bit more eco. Okay. And, and lastly, what's your favorite kind of finishing touch for some wedding station or invitation? I love hand finishing. I have a couple of ranges that are highlighted with little um, dots, like gold and silver dots, um, okay. and one with bows on. I just think like that just elevates it a little bit because paper is wonderful. 
um, but it just makes it that tiny little bit more special and it's so personalizable as well with your colors and everything like that so yeah, yeah. any sort of hand finishing I do like doing just for that extra extra level of Special thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh well thank you so much Catherine. It's been lovely speaking with you. Thank you, Anna. It's been great. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.